on Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe and heads a nonprofit foundation called Profoundly Disconnected. Mike Rowe. People say to me, Mike Rowe, are you ever going to run out of dirty jobs? And I say, not this season. My fellow Americans, there's work to be done. Tools to enjoy and walls to destroy. And somewhere out there, there's a sewer with my name on it. You have an issue that I know is in your craw that I think you are onto something because there is a giant skills gap. Even with this uh, big unemployment we have, there are lots of companies who are begging for people to take good jobs. Just to celebrate the idea that anybody can be a tradesman. It's not just about the skill, it's a state of mind. It's a work ethic. And you can find that in vocations all over the place. 90% of the jobs that are available right now require skill. They don't require a diploma. You know, look, Matt Damon said it, goodwill hunting. One of the day you Harvard boys are gonna figure out that 150 grand you spent is available at the Boston Public Library. Part of what MicroWorks does is just tries to encourage the trades, you know, and there's, there are so many ways you can do it, sending kids straight into a trade school with a technical scholarship. I'm not against a college no. education. No. I'm against debt. We got three million jobs that for whatever reason people don't seem to want. You have over a trillion dollars in student loans right now. And guess what? We're holding a note on some that. of that. We're lending money we don't have to kids who will never be able to pay it back to train them for jobs that no longer exist. These right. kids can't find a job that they've been trained for, and the but expectation is it should be waiting for me. Help me celebrate the grime and slime in overtime. I know you love that, America. That's right, my friends. I pledge to pile it off. So grab those steel toes, America, and get ready to get dirty. <laughs> <laughs>